We all know that tarantulas and spiders in general are interesting and mysterious creatures from the way they grow, feed and especially the way they reproduce. So I decided to document the whole process from pairing all the way to the babies emerging from the egg sac. It is a lengthy process with no guarantees of success, so sit back, relax and wish me luck. This is one of my tarantulas, a Harpactira pulhepes or commonly known as the golden blue-legged baboon tarantula. As many other tarantulas that originate from Africa, it is one feisty girl. She is an adult tarantula, so all that we now need is a mature male. Thankfully, I got contacted by one of my subscribers offering me just that, a mature male Harpactira pulhepes. So here you can already see that I opened the box and he should be in this smaller styrofoam box. It is a common practice to pack in vertebrates like this. Styrofoam box keeps an animal at a safe temperature despite fluctuations outside. But usually tarantulas will be packed in a plastic cup that is placed inside of the styrofoam box. So I was surprised that this guy was only covered by tissue. But thankfully I was not rushing it so I spotted it immediately. After a bit of careful maneuvering, I unpacked this handsome guy, although his coloration is a bit dull in comparison with the female. The temporary enclosure was already prepared and he was a bit jumpy when I poked him inside. You may have noticed that there is no hide, but it is because mature males will spend their time walking around trying to find the female, although they can dehydrate more easily than females, so water dish is a must. Two days later, I spotted him making a sperm web, which is a sign that he is ready for the female, and after a few days, I decided to give it a go. Whoa, 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 sorry for interrupting the video, but I have one unrelated yet important information. The Rainbow Ornata shirts are finally restocked on the web shop, so a bunch of you were asking through the last year when I will get more of these shirts, so yeah, head on to the web shop and you will be able to order them. Also, in case you don't know, you can also order parts for this amazing enclosure, plastic parts that is, you need to source glass locally. And soon, soon I will have the, these acrylic enclosures available. And not only that, I will have a front opening arboreal enclosure. So even better than this one. So <laughs> yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, now back to the video. In the meantime, he webbed like crazy and this must be one of the thickest spur webs I have ever seen. Again, he was not happy when I touched him, but I needed to somehow get him to move into the female's enclosure. His straight posture actually gave us an amazing view at his tibial hooks, which helped him to lift the female and secure her front legs. And the majority of male tarantula species get them as they reach their ultimate molt. Bulbs, on the other hand, are present in every mature male tarantula because their function is to store and inject the sperm into female's reproductive organ, but unfortunately I was not able to record them clearly. So after few encouragement pokes, I finally got him moving and even though he was really uncooperative and bolty, I managed to get him into her enclosure. Now the wait begins. Male will usually start to drum and vibrate in order to let the female know of his presence and the fact that he is not the food, but he only did one vibrating move in like 20 minutes. So I decided to give him a gentle motivation, which resulted in a thread posture even before I touched him. So I tried again to move him a bit closer, which almost ended in catastrophe. He bolted straight into her hole and just by sheer luck, the female didn't react and I managed to get him out in time. During breeding, uh, males are always at the risk of being eaten and bolting like this straight into female is usually a one-way ticket to Snack City. On the second attempt, he was a bit more cooperative and I managed to gently lead him right in front of female's tunnel. This position was far more promising than the last one and without any hesitation, he started to slowly creep closer to her. Even though he wasn't drumming like males usually do, you can see how he's uh, like shaking and walking weirdly, again letting the female know that he is approaching. He shaked again right at her doorstep and continued to move closer until he actually touched her, 
which resulted in a kind of worrisome reaction from her. And even though it looks like she is charging at him, I knew that she was interested. She could immediately grab him if she really wanted to. He continued his vibrating movement, which attracted her to move to him, and he immediately jumped into action, but his position was not good and he quickly tried to move her to a better spot. Male goal is to leave the female and then reach with his petal pops under her, where he needs to penetrate and inject sperm in a certain spot on her abdomen. A daunting task considering her fangs are right above his head. Just when it seems like he would do it, he, he backed out and lured female out. Now being on a hard ground, it was a go time. See how he's holding her in place and his legs are almost interlocked with hers. It was a bit hard from this angle to determine if he was successful, but it seems so because males will run for their life once they are done. And that's exactly what he attempted, but unfortunately he just looped in her web tunnel and ran straight back into her fangs. At first I didn't thought she grabbed him, but when I realized what is happening it was already too late. I didn't manage to separate them, but the guy was already bitten straight into his abdomen and it was just a matter of time when the venom will kick in. I decided to let her eat him because he would die regardless and even though it seemed cruel, this is their natural behavior, the female never knows when her next prey will come, so male can provide a crucial meal that will give her enough strength to raise their babies. So I show her back into her enclosure, where I place the male, and even though he appeared to already be out, he mastered his final strengths for another escape, and he went out like a champ. Months passed, the female was getting visibly fatter and fatter, and then three and a half months after the pairing I spotted this, a lot of webbing, and it could mean only two things, a molt or an exec. I knew that this species is just like Monocentropus balfuri, builds a hammock for eggs, and they never carry it around like other species, so this actually looked promising. So I set up the camera and hoped for the best. She was webbing webbing and webbing and after two days I wasn't even sure if she maybe already built it but she was still so plumped and there was no way that she don't have an abdomen full of eggs so I kept the camera rolling and then finally after almost three days this happened. There we go, she dropped the eggs and her abdomen shrugged so much, it's crazy to see. She slowly continued to web over the eggs, but when she was finished the egg sac looked concerning to say the least. It is not that pronounced on the video, but you could easily see yellow eggs through the web, which is something I never witnessed, so that got me worried and even though I spotted her add more web later, eggs were still visible. And after around 40 days, I found this. To be honest, I was expecting this outcome. I'm not sure if Exec was bad from the start or because she didn't wrap it good, but it seems like she decided to destroy it in the end. Such a shame. I opened it to find basically nothing inside. So this is how the story ends, unfortunately without the babies, which means I will need to try it again. Luckily look who I got. In the meantime one of my slings matured and it is a male, so once the female molts, we go again. And that was everything for this video. It was a bit different than my usual videos, so I hope that you enjoyed this style. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure to thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, upload every Monday, and sometimes uh, live stream on Sunday. So see you again really soon. Bye! <laughs>